Okay. The painting is done. The fairing is done. The fiberglass epoxy is done. Starting from the stern and going back. We put in a brand new drain plug. We put in the new gudgeons there with the blocks pushing them out this way uh, so that the um, head of the rudder would not rub on the uh, rub rail. Ironic, I didn't want it to rub on the rub rail. Um, the only thing left to do back here is to affix some sort of logo and name of the boat. Um, the rub rail, top side and bottom, have been sealed and caulked. Um, the auto balers, uh, I decided to make them flush, so those are nice and flush. I put in, I got from Annapolis Performance Sailing, um, this Dacron and polyurethane uh, gasket for center boards, and uh, it's much better than I thought. Uh, I glued it down with uh, 3M 5700, let that dry for about a week, and then I caulked it over the top side of it uh, along the edges so, so it would be a watertight seal on the edges. And then I cut down the middle. I did a lousy job cutting, but too late to take it out. Um, the, boat, uh, the bottom of the boat has been waxed as of today, and this is the... Line. I think this came out outstanding. I'm just so happy with that. I couldn't even believe how happy I am with that. Um, the final things I did while I had the boat upside down was I said was I uh, cleaned and waxed it, and then underneath it I got in there today and uh, glued down some backing plates for the chain plates, which will go right there, and backing plates for the jib track, which you can't see right now and I installed the jib tracks. Um, I tried to install the bow hook, but it's just going to be easier when it's on its side. The only thing you can really, really see is this dimple right here. I just didn't get it smooth enough. And then if you really look, you can see these drip marks from the um, poly, uh, not polyurethane, the uh, epoxy. I put extra thick epoxy all along here because it divot it goes down and then back up right here all along here and that's from the bunk of the trailer uh, and rather than trying to smooth it out I just gave in to the divot and uh, made it stronger with lots of polyurethane I also put polyurethane all along the keel line there uh, on both sides and then primed and painted everything so this is what it looks like on its top side upside down Tomorrow, I shall flip it back. That's it. Let me take one last long view of it.